4. State monopoly capitalism and the transition to socialism importance of understanding state monopoly capitalism. Crucial for shaping the strategy and tactics of the proletarian class struggle for socialism. Lenin emphasized clarifying its essence and combating reformist distortions that embellish capitalism and the imperialist state. State monopoly capitalism represents the highest level of production socialization under capitalism, prepares the objective material prerequisites for socialism and the socialist revolution. Lenin noted that its rapid development during World War I advanced the conditions for socialist revolution. Dialectic of history, World War I accelerated the transformation of monopoly capitalism into state monopoly capitalism, bringing humanity closer to socialism. The imperialist war is seen as the precursor to socialist revolution, as state monopoly capitalism fully prepares the material conditions for socialism. Examples of industry socialization Entire branches like coal, oil, and sugar industries in Russia became unified, indicating high socialization. The oil industry, controlled by a few oil kings, was already organized nationally and socially on a large scale. The sugar industry was economically unified and regulated by the state, serving capitalist interests. Nationalization and socialist construction. High industry socialization facilitates nationalization and socialist production organization. Lenin suggested that nationalizing industries like oil, coal, metallurgy, and sugar was feasible post-revolution. Bolshevik Party's Economic Demands The 6th Congress, July-August 1917, demanded the nationalization of banking, large-scale industry, and transport. Lessons from World War I War demonstrated that social production outgrew capitalism and could be planned on a national scale for mass benefit. Germany's wartime economic management illustrated the potential for centralized planning in socialist interests. Accounting and control apparatus Capitalism created accounting bodies like banks and syndicates, which the working class could use for organizing social production after taking power. Lenin argued these devices should not be destroyed but taken from capitalist control and subordinated to proletarian Soviets. Higher economic development and socialism. The greater the economic and state monopoly capitalism development, the more material prerequisites for socialism exist. Germany, at the time, was an example of advanced capitalist technology and planned organization that could be transformed into a socialist state structure. State monopoly capitalism versus socialism. State monopoly capitalism is not socialism and does not peacefully transition into it. Material prerequisites mature under capitalism, but socialism requires the overthrow of capitalist structures. Revolutionary struggle and economic conditions. Developed state monopoly capitalism can complicate the proletariat's task of taking power, but facilitate building socialism once power is seized. Russia had less developed material prerequisites but favorable political conditions for revolution. Proletarian state and socialist revolution. The socialist revolution involves overthrowing bourgeois power and monopolistic economic dominance. Nationalization of banks and industries is crucial for building a socialist economy and suppressing exploiters. Implementation of nationalization. The Bolshevik Party nationalized banks and large industries in the Soviet state's first year. Socialist nationalization contrasts with bourgeois nationalization by eliminating capitalist exploitation and transferring property to the people. State capitalism under proletarian dictatorship. State capitalism in a proletarian state benefits the working class contrasting with capitalist state capitalism, which serves the bourgeoisie. The Soviet state used state capitalism to strengthen socialism and weaken capitalism. Economic structures and state capitalism. State capitalism includes concessions and leases, but was not significantly developed in the Soviet Union. Socialist industry and trade quickly became dominant in the Soviet economy. Lessons and applications in people's democracies. State capitalism in people's democracies functions similarly to early Soviet state capitalism. The Communist Party applied capitalist experience in accounting and control to organize socialist production. Support from Soviet experience. Countries of people's democracy now benefit from Soviet experience in socialist construction, having favorable conditions for development toward socialism.